Jeffrey Paul Ross from NextLevelGuitar.com. Today we're working on kind of a, a Jimmy Reed R&B type thing, just a little uh, quick turnaround. So once again, if you would like a free video lesson that is not on YouTube with a coinciding ebook, just click on that link below and we will send you this free video lesson with the coinciding ebook all for free from nextlevelguitar.com. And the rhythm is the typical Jimmy Reed rhythm. Uh, but we're not going to play through a, a, a whole progression. We're just going to work on this one lick for this lesson. So we're in the key of A. And the rhythm... We're going to hit the A string open. And at the same time, we're going to fret the E note on the D string on the second fret with our first finger. So it should sound like that. And we're gonna do this. You're gonna go up a whole step with your third finger and you're gonna keep droning on that open A string. and stuff later. Okay, so now we'll do the lick for this. And this is kind of a standard uh, little bit of a variation here on a Jimmy Reed turnaround that he used a lot. It's kind of a country lick. So... Once again, we're in the key of A. We're going to go from the A to the E and then back to the A. And we're going to use this little double stop. You know, that Steve Cropper was known for using. And we're on the G and the high E string on the ninth fret with our second finger on the G, third on the high E. Now, I'm, I'm starting like a, uh, a whole step below on the 7th fret. And I'm, I'm sliding up on the G string. And then I'm catching that note on the high E string. And I'm letting them ring together. So it makes that little chord. Uh, so we got that much. Now, we're just going to make this little A chord triad and just break it down from high to low. Then for the E chord, we're going to uh, play this little shape, this little triad. And so we got the second finger on the seventh fret on the G string, first finger on the E note on the B string on the fifth fret, then back to the seventh fret on the high E string with the third finger. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the loop pedal here and play that rhythm and then play that lick along with it. Right, now this lick can be used in just about anything that's you know, pretty much E and A, whether it's a country tune or a blues tune. Uh, you can vary it and, and lengthen each chord chord, you know, per, you know, whatever the rhythm's doing, you know. You know, and you can, you can put it in with a bunch of different types of mix. And, Once 
again, this has been Jeffrey Paul Ross from NextLevelGuitar.com, uh, reminding you that we do have over 1,200 and growing various types of guitar lessons, uh, starting with beginners, uh, then intermediate, and on up through advanced. So we'll see you next time.